pleasure. And, you know, it's an interesting story because people don't realize that the seventh fish actually is an Italian-American invention. Yeah. So in, in Italy, we do La Vigilia, which okay. basically is a lot of fish on Christmas Eve, but there's no number attached. The idea of the number actually was sort of invented here in the United States. Okay. Uh, which is sort of... Which we do that a lot with Italian traditions, foods, and stuff. We put an American spin on no, everything. No, no, no. <laughs> we do. We do. We do. Uh, so, so, you know, the typical way to start the seventh fish is actually with the insalata di mare, which is basically a seafood salad. Okay. Uh, so, then it depends how many courses, because seven is sort of the initiation point. You start with seven, but, you know, there's collaborating families go to 13. Jeez. So, for example, oh, wow. you, yeah, so if you want to, which, you know, there's all this symbolism, like 13 is like the 12 apostles and Jesus. Okay. Seven is the seven days of creation. Okay. But, you know, they're all sort of religious Right, things. right. Uh, but if, if you wanted to do, and what we're doing here is an example, if you want to do 13, you would start, knock seven off right off the bat with the, with the Islamic right. Mata with seven different fish. Uh, so what we have here are, are seven fish, and basically what, it's a very easy preparation. Mm -hmm. um, what you do first is basically either steam or boil the uh, the fish. Okay. Except for clams and mussels. So here actually we'll saute these with garlic and oil. Sorry, I did that ahead of time. And we'll actually conserve the juice because that juice has amazing flavor. Okay. And what we do, the first step is basically just assembling it. So if you want to yep. help me out here and just here basically just, just toss it all. All right, so yeah. these are the sauteed items mm -hmm. first. So the sauteed, and you'll see they have beautiful juices there. Mm, they smell delicious. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so that's the clams and mussels. Next we have scallops. I love scallops. And, and the nice thing is you can sort of pick whatever fish okay. you like. And uh, then these are uh, the calamari. Calamari. Mm -hmm. You had octopus last time. Uh, I know, this yeah, is, this is like a similar. Yeah. <laughs> What's this guy? Now, this is bacala. This is sort of like the, yes. the, That's the, the traditional. classic, classic yes. sort of uh, uh, seafood. And this is and that's you know, an actual fish. That's cod. a fish. It's, 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 okay. it's a cod that's salted. Got it's it. A bacala. Yeah. This is all stuff people want to know. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah. what I mean? Because this, this is a This is also a very, very typical scungili. Scungili. Which in, in America we call conch. Okay. okay. We all know what this is. And, uh, and these, shrimp. That's the easy one. Let's come up with a fun name. Uh, Gambaretti. <laughs> Gambaretti. <laughs> okay, so basically we're going to mix this all up. Oh. Okay. And you can see Serve this is it already. Cold. Absolutely. Because it's a salad, Absolutely. right? And you know, and this is a, this is one of the few crossover dishes where it's, it's it's a Christmas Eve dish, but it's also very much a summer dish. Yeah. So if you're on the Italian Riviera in yeah. the summertime, you saw the Dimad is your classic. Because you know, it's, it's fish, right. it's cold, refreshing. Mm. So so this is a wintertime or summer dish. Okay, next we're going to put in. Yep. Yeah, we are. We're going to have fresh fennel. Fennel. And we have some celery. Got it. Okay. <laughs> All right. And so now, uh, if you want to keep mixing that, I will work with Kyrie on the dressing. Okay. So for the dressing, so we want all these beautiful, uh, bright flavors of the Mediterranean. So what we have here is actually a lemon juice from Sorrento lemons oh, okay. with some zest in there infused. Oh. So okay, you can dump uh, maybe not all three quarters of that three in there. Quarters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, a little more. Yeah. And you, you do you want uh, me to add this garlic? That's or, pretty good, right? Uh, you, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, Let's and just that. mix that all in. Mm -hmm. uh, that's good. Okay. Now uh, we will do. You can put that right down there. Mm. Now we're gonna add in olive oil. You know, for us Italians, extra virgin olive oil mm -hmm. is is like is like wine. Oh. Every, every region of Italy has different olive oils. They have different flavors. Yeah, mm -hmm. olives. So we're very passionate about this. This is this is a dish that really comes from the south of Italy. So my family's from this area, and this is actually an olive oil from our from our town. Mm -hmm. So you know, this this really speaks of a place because you have uh, lemons from Sorrento. This olive oil is from the Cilento, which is uh, right below the Amalfi Coast. Uh, so now, if you want to put a little salt, pepper in there. And so we got to wrap this up. Yeah. So we've got this dressing. You're going to add in some pepper. Yep. Yeah. Pepper in there. And then we're going to kind of just uh, emulsify you, all this. You, you brought some wines. What wine would you suggest with So them? what I brought there is called the Ischia Bianco. So this is from, if you want to just mix that up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This this is from uh, uh, the island of Ischia, which is right across yeah. from Naples, next to Capri. So this is all sort of a, a southern Italian mix. Very special wine because it's uh, it's a volcanic island. Mm -hmm. And the beautiful thing with this winemaker, he allows the salt from the Mediterranean to hit the grapes and then vinifies it with yeah. the salt. Oh. So you're literally gonna get, and you got to go. try this, so you gotta, you're gonna get. I got salt. two forks now, for us here. The, the one thing I'll say, this already will taste beautiful. You're gonna get these beautiful flavors of the Mediterranean. Mm -hmm. But if you would like to sit in the refrigerator overnight, you're about Thank you. Loving it. It goes to another level. All right, we got a full screen here for people who wanna know more information about uh, your specialties. You've got the seven fishes feast at Crab Cafe. 24th. 
Yep, yeah, at the Grand Cafe Lock We Love. That's at 1716 Chestnut Street. Their number is right there. You can also go to Grand Cafe Lock We Love. Oh. All right. Thank you so here. much. Oh, it's my pleasure. Salute. Salute. Oh. Some wine. All right. Thank you. Mm, really good. I think that so. is it's always good for delicious. Working. That was a fast five minutes. Right? Yeah. <laughs>